today's lesson is going to be all about triangles. So this week, we've done a lot of work with angles. Now we're gonna talk about how to name a triangle. One of the ways that we can name triangles is by their angles. We're going to use some of the same words that we use to describe angles to describe triangles. So this triangle right here has a right angle. Any triangle that has a right angle is called a right triangle. That means that it has one angle that is 90 degrees. This triangle right here has an obtuse angle. This triangle is called an obtuse triangle. And finally, this triangle right here has all acute angles. This triangle is called an acute triangle. So this is how we label triangles based on their angles. If it has at least one right angle, it's a right triangle. If it has an obtuse angle, it's an obtuse triangle. And if it has all acute angles, it's called an acute triangle. As long as you remember the definitions of those angles, classifying triangles by their angles is fairly simple. Remember, this box right here tells us that this angle is a right angle. That way we can tell without having to measure that this angle is 90 degrees. So when you see the box, it means that that is definitely a right angle. You don't have to guess. Now, angles are not the only way that we classify triangles. Here's another way. So the other way to describe a triangle is by its sides. And we know that not everybody's drawing is absolutely perfect. And that's why mathematicians came up with this really simple, yet really brilliant way to tell if a two sides of a triangle are equal. And what they do is they put these little tick marks or those little lines. When you see lines that match, it means that those sides of the triangle are the same. So in this particular triangle, this side, this side, and this side are all the same length. I know that because they have the same marking on the triangle. I don't have to measure. This type of triangle is called an equilateral triangle. That means that all three sides of the triangle are exactly the same. This is the next type of triangle we're going to look at. Notice that these two sides have the same markings on them. That means that these two sides are equal, but this third side is not. When we have two sides in a triangle that are the same length, we call that an isosceles triangle. This word is pronounced isosceles. And finally, this on this triangle, none of the sides match. So all three sides are different lengths. We call this triangle a scalene triangle. That means that none of the sides are the same. So in conclusion, these are the six types of triangles that we have talked about. Up at the top in blue, you will see a right triangle that has a right angle, an obtuse triangle, which has an obtuse angle, and an acute triangle, which has all acute angles. We also can classify triangles by their sides. We have an equilateral triangle, which has all equal sides. We have an isosceles triangle, which has two equal sides. And we have a scalene triangle, which has all different size sides. Now, every triangle can be classified as one of the blue ones and one of the purple ones. So for example, we can have an equilateral triangle that's also an acute triangle. We can have an isosceles triangle that's also a right triangle, but we cannot have a triangle that is two of the blue ones or two of the purple ones. Every triangle is one of these and one of these.
For your task today, you're going to be identifying triangles. I will put a screenshot of my board into your Google form so that you can go back and reference it while you are answering your question. 